What is up my gamers? My name is Synergy. You are watching Synergy Gaming TV and we are back with a new Nexus co-op map. That's not true. Dominion's hired me to destroy some trains carrying dangerous Mobius ordinance. Seeing as how Amon's a mutual enemy. Blah, 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 blah. They talk, they talk, they talk. So, we're not actually here on a new map. This is obviously Oblivion Express. You guys know this is my favorite map. We are playing Karas, who is currently probably the weakest commander in Nexus co-op. Um, but he's got a really cool mechanic. It's really neat. Um, you're going to have the opportunity to put down Monoliths of the Lost World. Um, you're either going to get to do ones that do uh, benefit Zealots, benefit uh, Adepts, benefit Dark Templar, or uh, benefit High Templar. And as you continue to place them down, you get up to three for each of the uh, each of the four. And they will continue to, you know, kind of make them stronger. Uh, it also gives the opportunity to make their call down under res uh, the respected um, uh, Monolith they will also make their cooldowns stronger. Um, but what's really cool about Keras uh, is that when his units die, their souls go to another unit of the similar type. And then when you enter in a, an energy field, like a pylon or, a, or a, a monolith, it will allow you to kind of, essentially they ascend to a new version of themselves, which is stronger and faster and better all around. <laughs> that will also unlock new spells for them uh, under whatever monolith that you've been placing down. However, while these mechanics seem to be pretty nifty, they are... Um, it, it, it feels weak. It feels very weak. Uh, I'm going to put these in here. He does have Photon Overcharge, which is pretty cool. Um, which is really good, actually. We're going to start... Pylons, yeah, we're gonna just drop down some some units and get our expansions going. We have the opportunity for another monolith. I believe it's every three minutes. Uh, and I started off with Monolith of the Lost World, um, level one, level one. I started with a Dark Templar one, so we're gonna do more Dark Templar ones. Um, just because you need the damage, Keras damage is quite low, and it makes doing Oblivion, uh, Oblivion Express, pretty tough because you can't burst down the trains now. Something I did learn is that trains are heroic, and there is a bonus that you can give your um, flying units. You do get a couple of them. Uh, you can give them bonus damage against heroic, which is the only way I was able to beat down the trains fast enough to make it worthwhile. Karas is his own unit. He's pretty sweet. Uh, again, he's got magic that benefits from each uh, version of the monolith. You can see by the colors there. Green, yellow, uh, blue, and white. So there is some, some cool opportunities to kind of Play some jank, <coughs> excuse me, play some jank with him. Cast down a shadow, and I'll storm lightning and kill everything, and it's awesome. Easy. So, Karas himself is pretty strong. Uh, you can see him floating resources here, too. I'm going to talk about that here just a little bit. Uh, you have the opportunity to boost your mineral gathering by right down here, or uh, gas gathering. Um, <coughs> so, that's actually pretty sweet. Uh, that's finished. I need to do our one of these, and I'm going to use this guy. We're going to build... I need to get these down quickly because it's very hard to burst down the trains. Uh, it doesn't doesn't go very well uh, at all. I need to get this down first though. And cast some other spells. Looks like a little phoenix orb. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now let's hope there's not air units because it sucks. Adepts are good uh, bonus against light. Uh, there is no bonus against armored though out of his units, uh, which is a little disappointing. Okay. Uh, we're gonna cast this thing down, gather all our banelings together, and fry them down. Okay. All right, another monolith is up. Let's go for another DT version there. Uh, I, now that the thing is finished, I can actually build them. There we go. This will be our burst damage for the train. From the shadows, I come. They can also add uh, these bonuses here right now. So if I do the Dark Templar one, Dark Templar and Twilight Templars attack will create a uh, time delay and then deal uh, when they have 50 or more energy. 50% more energy. This is not good. So I'm going to call down my buddy. And he's really strong. When he hits tier 3, he's disgustingly strong. Um, but it takes down energy out of the uh, whatever they call it. This is here. Uh, that's open, that's open, that's open. Okay, we'll come here to fight the next wave as it shows up. I don't have a leftover 
Guy, why don't I have a leftover? There he is. Hi, build that. Uh, and you are missing a dude, so we'll make your dude here. And, and we'll rush that out, and we're gonna rush yours out. Okay, these guys are fighting. And dismiss this guy. Okay, I need way more units. Okay. Uh, dun, dun. We're gonna need more of these as well. Uh, yeah, so Karax, I don't know. He's He has a lot of potential. And I think with a little bit of a rework, maybe they'll uh, they'll touch on him in the new patch coming out here, uh, aiming around Marchish. Hopefully, uh, there'll be opportunities there for some improvements because his his playstyle is really fun. He's just he's just weak sauce. Uh, probably because part of him doesn't have any bonus to uh, armor that I've noticed anyway, um, which can be a really big detriment when you're in a in a fight against armored units when there's no bonus. Uh, let's gather some of those dudes. Ah, run away. All right, another monolith is up. Let's get our uh, zealots up here. Now, typically, I like to drop one down here, but in my experimentations, um, I had found that the enemies would like to attack it right here. So, um, oh, gross. That was a lot of units we just lost. Build a couple more of them. I'm going to switch uh, our guys over to gas bonus. Uh, because we need it, especially because our um, tempests are like 450, 300. Okay. Do Dark Templars do bonus? No, they're just at 40 damage right now. They do have a buff. Eventually, they will get uh, they will get buffed. Those guys will get buffed as well. Fleet Beacon is here. Let's get the bonus damage against Heroic. Pliss, come on. You see what I mean? Come on. Like, he's not he's just not bursty. It's just not a lot of burst. And it makes it very hard to uh Okay. Let's start getting some of those out. Always Two, two more of those. Let's get a couple more gateways, I think. Um I gotta be a little careful now because I took us off of mass gas. Oh, not good. Orb, orb, orb. Okay. So <coughs> you're gonna notice here that we might actually we might actually fail. It's this is not a good map for Karis. He just doesn't do damage against the trains, and then your your positioning gets all screwed up because you're all over the place. Even though you have call downs, they're just not good. That's not true. They're quite good. They're just not good for trains. Let's see if we can get one more. We got another one. Let's make our zealots stronger. Because we need to do... So you can see here we've got a couple Dark Zealots. This guy's been... That guy's been promoted. This guy's been promoted. Uh, he's not promoted. So you can see, like, whenever a unit dies... I'll show you guys, hopefully, you're in an opportunity. They, they promote themselves. No! I don't know if I'll get the bonuses this time. I did in my practice playthrough. I got the bonuses, but I just don't know if we will this time. It's, it's not easy. It's it's pretty tough to do. I don't know if we'll get the bonus. I don't think we will. I don't have enough uh, Tempest out. I don't have enough Tempest out. Photon Overcharge has a chance to do Storm as well, which is pretty good. We're not going to get the bonus this round. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. That's why I put these pylons here, is for the Photon Overcharge. I need more air units, or more adepts, because they can attack air. We're going to let the bonus go. Uh, I probably could have if my micro was a little better. Uh, I didn't get enough Tempest out, so... So what would have happened is I would have went for that bonus train, and then I would have came here, and then... I would have went down there and I would have missed this wave and it would have just ransacked my whole base and it would not have been good. Um, I guess I could use... Now yeah, we're just going to let it go. Just going to let it go. You can use the uh, warp prisms and they actually, they're actually able to warp except they can only warp into energy. Uh, energy circles. Which is kind of annoying. So they're good at... It's kind of like a recall. They're good at coming back. They're not so good at, at uh, going away. Does that make sense? I don't think that made any sense. 
<laughs> okay, no, what am I- see? And then, there's something wrong with either my game, or my keyboard, or something. Because I'm getting random, like, I'm telling it to do something, but then it doesn't do it, and it does something else, and then it's not good. That would have decimated my wave. That would not have been good for us. Yeah, I do seek your aid. We're getting a double train fight here. Do I have any DTs left? I got a few. From the shadows. Lots more Templars. They're a really good mineral dump. And then... Come on, game! Let's go get them. You see what I mean, though? Super weak against against these trains. It's really hard to do this mission. But I wanted to... Uh, I can show you the replay. Oh, see? Hit the damn train! Thank you! And he doesn't have a whole lot of flexibility. I mean, you can use war prisms, I guess. You can use the war prisms. I need this guy here. Cast your spell, please. And kill everything super fast. He's out of energy. I knew that was going to happen. I just needed to stall him so he didn't attack all my buildings right away. Alright, looking good. Looking dope, YOLO Swaggins. More DTs. Bring these guys down here. I'm going to drop one of these here. Did any of my units ascend? There's an ascended one, a war adept. There's a few. Uh, you can manually just kill one. There, and you hear that sound? That's that's a promotion. So you can kill your own units to to give them the promotion if you really wanted to, I guess. Um, I'm gonna need more pylons. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. He's got a lot of potential. There's a lot of really good ideas. He's just not quite strong enough, as compared to other commanders that do, like, buttloads of damage. And he just kind of doesn't. You know what I mean? I need more pylons. The other one should be finished here pretty quick. Vipers, vipers suck. Yeah, they, they hurt. Clear the wave. Come on, game. Wow, I lost so many Tempests. More promotions. Uh, promotions help a lot with the damage. There is no uh, no forge, right, to, to up update the or upgrade the damage of your units. You just have to hopefully, you know, assume that you lose some units so that some of them promote so that they do more damage. It's kind of a janky mechanic, to be honest. It's it's I don't know if I if I like it. Okay, we've got 200 supply. And uh, I think we're on super, we're on gas. Yeah, we are right now. So we're getting bonus gas, and we're still having tons of minerals. Um, which is fine, I guess. Unless, you know, you, that odd moment where you miss one of your... No! Come on! Cast your spells, you weenie! No, this game sometimes, man. It just doesn't... I lost, like, 50 supply there because he wouldn't cast his... His, uh... His spell. I might have been under the, uh, the Vipers. Uh, what do they call that? I can't remember what it's called. Eh, drop down all of those. <laughs> As there should be. I- this is gonna be tough. I am really low on- on Tempest. I'm really low on tempests. Those trains on the third rail are fast as hell. Got to take them out quick. Oh fuck. Okay. Now we're in trouble. Okay. 
Plus. Alright, attack. This is not going well, guys. Did I lose DTs or something here, or what? I just keep hitting the train and hitting the train and hitting the train and hitting the train and it just doesn't die. A main objective has nearly escaped. A main objective See, and now you're out of position. That's why I couldn't get the bonuses. It's just not, it's just, it just doesn't do enough damage. Maybe I'm playing him wrong. Maybe I'm not casting things the right way. I don't really know. Maybe I suck. That's not good. My whole expansion is going to get wiped out. See? Not good. Karis just doesn't have the DPS. Yeah, we lost a lot there. Lost a lot there. Not good. Need more pylons. I'm not even going to get them done, but I better in case everything goes cattywampus. We should just be just be prepared. No bonus. I think our unit I don't know if the units are like waiting to come in. That's what that is. Casting all my orbs. More lightning. Okay, DTs, go to work. Do what you do. No, lose another Tempest. Yeah, Carrick's just not good for this map, you guys. Not good. I've lost so much supply. Now I gotta fight that wave. Come on, come on, come on! Here we go. Knock that train over. The Dark Templar's ability doesn't work on uh, on trains because they're heroic. Okay, we did it. Fucking barely. <coughs> so as you can see, there's potential with like upgrading units and like. What? Oh, jeez! I thought that I thought we missed a train and we had to do another wave. Uh, so, yeah, there's just not a lot of DPS with Karas. He's he's good. Uh, you can get Phoenix to help with the air units, and you can get the, uh, uh, the warp prisms, so to speak. That helps him with his mobility a little bit. They fly pretty quick. Uh, and you can do big pickups and big drops and stuff like that. It just requires a lot more micro. Uh, like I said, there's lots of potential for him. He's just not, he's just not there yet. I think he just needs a little buff, and then everything will be PG. Um, that's a wrap, you guys. So, thank you. Uh, Patreon, Patreon stuff. Link down below. Cool. Thanks again for watching Synergy Gaming TV. My name is Synergy. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.